those of you receiving your first communion, why don't you gather around? Father, up here, we'll talk a little bit today about the gospel, and then a little bit about what you're up to today. <coughs> Get just a little bit about the gospel first, and I'll do a little teaching here, because it'll be important for what we're about to do. Okay? Let me explain. We heard the gospel today about two disciples who decide to go to Emmaus. Now, remember, Jesus wants them in Jerusalem because there he will appear to them and there he will send the Holy Spirit upon them. So these two disciples are walking away from Jerusalem when they should be staying in Jerusalem. So let's talk about how Jesus gets them back to Jerusalem. Okay, this is where we hear the gospel. First he appears in the midst of them. Okay? He appears. They don't recognize him right away. And what does he start to do? He starts to break open the word and talk to him about himself and who he is. How Moses talked about him, how the prophets talked about him. Okay? And yet we hear in the gospel, they still don't quite recognize him. So what does he do? Well, he gets the impression they're going to go on further. Okay? They invite him to stay and he does. Now, he takes bread. Okay? Blesses it, breaks it, gives it to them, and they eat it, and now they recognize Jesus. Very important. Because later on at Mass now, here in a moment, it won't take very long now, okay, what are we going to do? We're going to do the same thing. Take it, bless it, break it, and give it to you for the first time. And we will recognize that this is truly who. This is Jesus. Okay? So now notice what happens. They've heard him. They've received him. Now they go in the right direction. They go back to Jerusalem. Where they should be. And they tell the others what they have seen and heard. Okay? Now I want you to think about the flow of the Mass. Okay? We gather as a people... Like these two disciples, Jesus in their midst, what's the first thing we do? We hear the word. Okay? It's great for us to receive Jesus, but to receive Jesus, we have to understand what we have to do. That's why it's important that we hear the word. So we gather, we hear the word, then what do we do? We receive him. Okay? And once we receive him, what do we do then? We go. Okay? They went to Jerusalem. We go out into the world and tell people what we've heard and what we've received. Okay? So the gospel today is the entire mass. We gather, hear the word, receive Jesus, and we go. Tell people what we've heard and what we've received. All right. Now it's important for us to talk a little bit more detail about this man, Jesus. Okay. Earlier this year, kids, you already received the sacrament. Which one was it? Earlier this year. Okay. Reconciliation. And in reconciliation, what happened? You had to confess what? Your sins. All right. Sins. Was it fun to do? Was it fun? Not really the darkest part of ourselves, things that we're not very proud of. But we do it, why? Not to be ashamed, but so God can forgive us, okay? And we can get the grace to get back on track to doing what we should do, all right? Remember, we also talked a little bit about sins, all right? We say this, they are deliberate choices of the mind. Can we think bad things up here? Yeah. Of the lips, can we say bad things? Of the heart, can we do bad things? That's right. And we also talk about sins that we don't do, that we should do. Okay? Thoughts, lips, heart. Okay? Choices that we know we shouldn't do, and yet we do. Okay? But there's a difference between that and an accident. Okay? Do you know what the difference is? I'll give you an example quick, okay? We're in your classroom, 
Okay, and there's an eraser on the board, and in my teaching, I wave my hand, I knock it off accidentally, and hit one of you. Okay, now is that a sin? Is that a sin? Why? Why isn't it? I didn't do it on purpose. Exactly, it's an accident. Now, if I got mad at you, and I picked it up, and I whipped it at you, is that a sin? Is that a sin? Yeah, because I did it on purpose. All right? And that's why we celebrated reconciliation earlier this week, to get you ready for this sacrament. All right, now today we celebrate what sacrament? Let's go over here to the guide. What sacrament are we here for today? Read. Your first holy what? Very good. First holy communion. And now what are we, who are we going to receive today? Who are we going to receive? Jesus. The bread and the wine become the body, blood of Jesus. Kids, we really receive him. Okay? We really receive him. We take him. We take him. We eat him. We take him. We drink and that means where is he going to live? Here. Okay? So that means, now remember, we celebrate reconciliation to get all the bad stuff out of the way. So if we want him to dwell in here, that means we have to do things that are good. So if I followed you around and I said, you are truly a people who receive the Eucharist, what are some things I would want to see? What are things that you should do that are about Jesus? Give me some examples. Give me one. Pray. Good. Another one. Read. Be what? Be respectful of everybody. What else? We can be kind. What else? Forgive others. Because do we hurt people too? We want them to forgive us? Then it's not fair that we don't forgive others. Okay? Anything else? Be helpful. Here's another one. I want to conclude with this. Get to Mass. Go to church. We say that we receive Jesus every Sunday, every holy day. Come. Because when we receive him, he can dwell in us. He can dwell in us. Okay? So we got to make room for him. All right? So are you guys ready to go? Okay? We're almost there. Okay? We're almost there. First, we have to profess our faith, do our intercessions, and have the gifts brought forward. And then remember, I'll bring you up, and we'll gather around, and we'll prepare that so that the bread and wine can become the body and blood of Jesus. All right? Let's get ready for that moment. But first, let's go back to your pews. And everyone, let's stand together now. And with these children, let's profess our creed. <coughs> 